And from that story, we take you to Check Me Out, where we showcase Nigerians doing wonderful things home and abroad. This week, we check out Rosalind Adebinkwe Adewi, a feminist passionate about empowering women and girls in Africa. Let's check her out. My name is Rosalyn Adewi. I'm a French instructor, gender advocate, and a blogger. Check me out. I love languages generally, and um, during my high school days, secondary school, when I was in SS3, I decided to go for French language, and I was chastised by my colleagues. I eventually finished with my first class at the end of the day. Then, um, on my convocation day, I was called on the podium to, to get the award for the best um, for the award for the best female graduating student and that was really really so real for me. I decided to like in, to organize a personal community development program initiative for young girls. It was like a program for young girls in secondary schools and even university students at the University of Lorraine. And at the end of the day when I finished the program I was awarded as most outstanding core member in my CDS group that sustainable development group. And aside that I also was awarded as an outstanding core member at the end of my service year in Para State. Immediately after my master's program, I got employed with the African Union as a translator and interpreter. I worked with um, an organization in Algeria that was my deployment station, and it was actually very awesome. I learned a lot, especially from diplomac diplomacy angle. Um, the purpose of my stay in the U.S. has been for a fellowship program. So when I started, it was a very, very it was very, very demanding for me and I struggled quite a bit because the system is totally different. I didn't really understand how things went here. I struggled with a lot of courses I took and all that, but eventually I was able to ease into it. Growing up, I battled with my identity. Of course, being a girl, I realized that in my environment, I noticed a lot of things. I observed a lot of things, the way girls were treated from boys. And for me, I just felt like we're all human beings for crying out loud. My initiative focuses on culture, most importantly. I'm very fierce about cultural elements that stick for young girls. So I talk to young girls if there are elements of the culture that would actually make you feel limited. Please do not wallow in limitations at all. Do not allow culture to limit you. And my initiative also talks to boys as well. I also engage boys in my initiative because I realize that it's also important to talk to young boys. And beyond that, so I also get people like young girls who have been part of the initiative right now, who now have their own initiatives as well. My name is Rosalind Adoui. I'm a French instructor, gender advocate, and a blogger. You've just Checked me out. Beautiful work, Rosalind. Well done. Let's now show you a brief highlight of our top story today. We looked at how some Nigerian women living with disabilities are rising above stereotypes to take their place in society. And that's where we draw the curtains on this week's episode of the program. Many thanks for joining us. The conversation ends in the studio now, but continues on our Twitter handle at Just Nigeria TV. Let's hear your views. You can check out more content from us at bbc.com forward slash Africa and channels tv.com. Until next time, I am Wiley Fakile. Bye for now. <laughs>